Okay, this is an audit for Mia Isabella Photography. Thank you so much for getting in touch with me through Instagram for this audit. Um, I'm going to have a look through your site and give you some suggestions on what we can improve. Um, looking at it, I think it's quite a new theme. I think maybe you've just potentially moved over to a new site. So I've already noticed a few little things that um, have potentially changed. I'm not sure if it's a brand new website or one that you've just recently added a new theme to. Um, but either way, we can have a little look through, get some ideas, and hopefully give you some ideas that will uh, bring you some more traffic. I'm going to jump in and out as I find things uh, to make comment on. First things first, I've got to say, I love the layout of your site. It's very classy. Um, I see an awful lot of sites, and there's so much similarities between a lot of the designs. Uh, this is striking. I love the, the big picture, and I love the big text. So that's that's a great. I think you're onto a winner there. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to bring up is there's just a lack of text on the site as a whole. Um, it's really good to have a minimum of 300, 500 words, somewhere in that region, um, per page. Especially for sites that are quite complicated with um, technologies and codes and scripts. Um, the text, essentially the text, is what Google's looking at more than anything else. Um, the text gives... Google and all the search engines a clue as to what your page is about. You have to assume that they're not seeing the pictures, they're not seeing anything else, they're not seeing the, the text in your logo. Um, they're only reading the text, so that always needs to be sort of front and centre when you're creating a website. Um, one of the most important elements of any page is uh, the title tags. On your page, this, this for example is a title tag and it's what's known as an H2 as I can see from the code. Um, the most valuable title tag is an H1. I believe this is a Squarespace site from looking through the code. I'm not sure how much um, opportunity they give you for managing your title tags, um, but I'd certainly like to see more H1 use if possible. Um, you should only have one per page and they should be unique to that page. Um, but if you can, if you're aiming for like a location or a specific area, so I know you're in New York, you might be aiming for New York weddings, New York wedding photographer, something like that. It would be awesome if on your page, on your your wedding page, for example, if you had an H1 tag that said New York weddings or New York wedding photographer, just to give a context to to what you're looking at. Um, the other thing I've noticed from the code is the images, the, the names of the images. I think this might be something Squarespace does um, because I, I believe it's hosting it from Squarespace, uh, Squarespace's um, content delivery network. But often it's good practice to have the, the file names relevant and descriptive as to what's, what the image contains. So your file names might be something like New York Wedding Photographer or New York Portrait Photographer or New York Headshot Photographer. Um, but looking at Squarespace, I'm not entirely sure if that's something that you have any control over. But other than that, I'm liking what I'm seeing. One thing that I'm noticing is there's a lack of blog. That's the only thing that I would I always suggest to my customers that having a blog is a great thing because sites that are regularly updated and are producing new content regularly are always looked upon more favorably by Google and always rank better. Um, so if you were able to have a blog on your site in some way, that would also solve your problem about not having a lot of text because you'd have a very clear, obvious format of which you could be putting your blog posts up and you could be putting your text up. So you could be then using your blog to target potentially different wedding venues, or different styles of photography, or locations for portraits, um, anything depending on what you're aiming for. Looking at your individual pages, um, the URL is really good. The shorter the URL, the better. So you've got your miaisabellaphotography.com forward slash wedding. This is really good. Um, you might want to have something like forward slash wedding hyphen photographer or New York hyphen wedding hyphen photographer because um, the URL is a bit of a ranking factor. It's not as much as it once was, um, but it's still good to have that in there. Um, having said that, I do like the clean, simple forward slash wedding. It's nice and straight to the point. Um, you might want to think about having the titles on your pages. I'm not sure, again, how much 
control over that Squarespace gives you, but you might want to have up up where I'm I'm hovering up here where it says wedding hyphen Mia Isabella photography. That's an absolute killer place to put a location that you're aiming for. So maybe New York wedding photographer or something like that might be nice to have there. Um, if that matched up with whatever you set your title for, you're reinforcing to the search engines where it is you're targeting and what you're aiming for. So pulling up your site in Google Site Search, essentially this this little adding the word site before your, your URL allows me to look at all of the pages that Google's got available in its index from your domain. Um, the one thing that's standing out, as well as the, the titles which could, could be put to better SEO value, um, these parts, which are known as the meta descriptions, they're not a big... Um, sorry, I was just caught, caught my eye by the, um, the Latin popping up there, which I think is potentially filler text. Um, never mind. Looking at the meta descriptions, they're not so much a ranking factor that you need to worry about anymore, but they are um, something that encourages people to click through to your site when they, they stumble upon you in the results, in the search results. So it's almost like starting the conversation with the person searching before they've actually landed on your website. So they're a really good thing to increase your click-through rate, as it's known. Um, and click-through rate the amount of time someone actually clicks on your result is a ranking factor and is something Google will consider. So um, a lot of your pages, it seems to just be grabbing content from the main body of the text. Um, I think it's doing it for most of them. So if you've got control over that with, with Squarespace, that might be um, something you want to consider. Google's also suggesting trying Search Console at the top, which potentially implies that Google Search Console isn't uh, installed on your, your domain. Um, that, combined with Google Analytics, are two really useful tools for understanding how Google is seeing your site and also how people are interacting with your site. So if they're not installed or set up, they're certainly something that um, we should look into doing. So now looking at your site in Ahrefs, which is an SEO tool, um, it basically holds a lot of information on your site and how your site's progressing and growing. Um, the one thing that stands out to me, um, and it's something I've seen quite a lot with other audits I've performed, is uh, the number of backlinks um, that you've got. They're not particularly high. Um, backlinks are like a vote of confidence from, from people that give you them to... Google to say that you're a valuable site and that you're an authority and trustworthy. Uh, great places to get backlinks are like wedding blogs. If you're if you're submitting weddings to wedding blogs, you often get a link back to your site. Um, they basically you've only got a handful of them at the moment from six separate domains. Um, the more of these you can get, the better. Looking at your actual backlinks, you've got a few different things. People linking back to you. It's really great to have this kind of thing and I think headshots particularly are going to be a great way to generate them because people are going to use them if they're then going to link back to you that's going to really boost your SEO. Um, sticking with Ahrefs while I'm in here um, looking at the the pages there there's not a lot of mention of your sites before 2014 if I'm correct uh, and then there was nothing for uh, 2016, and then it's gradually started growing. So this would indicate to me that potentially your site's reasonably new, or potentially it was inactive for a little while, and then it's it started growing since maybe late 2016, maybe 2017. It's hard to tell exactly. Um, but uh, the age of a site is a ranking factor, and... Um, the older a site is, the easier it is to rank. So that's something to consider. Looking through Ahrefs on the organic keyword information that they hold, um, they're showing the majority of searches that you're appearing for are purely on your own brand name. Um, your name, your name with wedding, those kind of things. That essentially is saying, and what I picked up on earlier, from looking at your site, Google almost can't see what these pages are about. All it knows is that your site is about Mia Isabella. It doesn't. It's not picking up anything to do with weddings from this page, really. 
it's not picking up much to do with portraits or performance boudoir, these kind of things. Um, and the simplest way to get that more clear to Google is, is going to be to change your titles and make them like portrait photographer, New York portrait photographer, and to have more text per page. Um, Google has what's known as a thin content policy. And if you've got like hundreds of pictures on a page and only a couple of words, they're not going to sort of respect that page as much. Um, so certainly more more text on your pages would would I think help that um, coupled with titles and coupled with more backlinks I think you're going to be seeing some big improvements um, I think New York is going to be a really competitive market so you're potentially I mean from the wedding side of things you're going to want to aim for specific wedding venues um, and that's going to give you the best sort of bang for your buck looking at the best way to do that would be a blog. Um, then you could, every time you do a wedding, every time you do a portrait shoot, every time you do headshots, you can put up a fresh piece of content on your blog, you can put a good quantity of text, and you can put your titles that are aiming at relevant things. Um, so I think that's going to be the best, the best initial step for you to take. Um, I hope this has been helpful to you. Uh, I'm going to send across some notes as well. Do let me know if you've got any questions or if you'd like some more help. Thank you.